Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best active studio monitors. Starting at number 5. Pioneer DJ DM40. The design of the Pioneer DM40 desktop monitors is suitable for a home recording studio and can be used by a DJ to produce music mixes as well. These monitors have a front dash, two-way bass reflex system and use the diffusion effectual convexity by Olsen Specs, Deco. Technology to create a wider reach and a larger sweet spot. This makes the sound quality easy to evaluate from many positions in front of the monitors. These are active monitors with a tweeter and a soft dome woofer. Create a versatile home setup that can deliver a rich, balanced sound for producing and DJing. The DM of 40 BT speakers are sold as a pair. Specs, type, two-way bass reflex, active monitor speakers tweeter, three-quarters inch soft dome woofer. Four inch fiberglass, what's in the box? DM of 40 BT X2, power cord, 2M speaker. Coming at number four. Alisi's Elevate 5 Malawian Quachas 2. As one of the more affordable speaker sets available, the Alisi's Elevate 5 MKI is a nice option for those on a budget. It adds that special touch that your studio needs and works with most of your equipment. The one-inch silk tweeter produces clear sounds and works with a high frequency. You also get a five-inch dome that handles low noises just as well. Designed to work with any subwoofer, this speaker set allows you to connect a television or video game console as well as stereo and studio equipment. Find out what the pros think about the Alisi's Elevate 5 MKI in the following video from YouTube. Not only can you see it in action, but you get a look at what comes in the box. At number 3. Mackey MR524. The design of the Mackey MR524 5-inch studio monitors uses Mackey's logarithmic waveguide technology to create an ultra-wide dispersion for better stereo imaging and a larger sweet spot for listening. The 1-inch silk dome tweeter has a quick transient response time providing details and vocal precision for the high-end frequencies. The tweeter goes along nicely with the 5-inch polypropylene woofers that deliver a dynamic and drawing from Mackey's extensive studio monitor design experience. MR524 monitors are precision tuned to stay true to your mix whether it's dialogue, hip-hop, rock and beyond. Our proven logarithmic waveguide provides an ultra-wide listening sweet spot and enhanced stereo imaging while the acoustic space controls allow you to adjust the frequency response of the monitor to match your studio. Number 2 of my list. IK Multimedia iLoud. If you have a limited budget and work in a small space with a desktop recording system, then the IK Multimedia iLoud micro monitors are an excellent choice. They sound good and they have adjustments for the typical problems that come from the unwanted sound reflections caused by placing monitors on a desktop or a shelf. Check out the video review of the IK Multimedia iLoud micro monitors created by Produce Like a Pro that shows how they fit into a professional studio environment as monitors that go along well with an audio editing workstation to be used as reference sound. These studio monitors have a super near field design that creates a sweet spot for listening to the sound right at ear level when sitting at a desk. There is also a desktop slash shelf switch to use if you place the monitors on a shelf rather than down on the desk below. No matter where you put these studio monitors in a desktop studio setting, they sound terrific. And number 1. Yamaha HS5. The Yamaha HS5 design is a powered studio monitor that comes in 5-, and 1-2, and 8-inch sizes. There are tabletop and mountable versions. Unlike other monitors that sell in pairs, these sell in single units. These are two-way, bass reflex, bi-amplified, near-field studio monitors with a 5-inch cone woofer and a 1-inch dome tweeter. The Yamaha HS5 monitor is the type that is typically used in a professional recording studio for a b checking that is why it is sold as a separate unit. 
They tested these studio monitor speakers using an anechoic chamber to determine its frequency response and distortion characteristics. Then, they compared the sound quality in five different real-life studio environments. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.